Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So round one of Cosmic Ghost Rider Arena is over. I did not go for the five star. I did go for the 5,000 five star shards. And I also went for the four star Cosmic Ghost Rider. So we're gonna find out together whether I got the four star, whether I got the 5,000 five star shards, and we're gonna look at the leaderboards and see which of our friends got the top 200 all right so let's go ahead and get over here to the arenas i have not started the uh sunday arena as you can see uh but let's go over to the completed arenas here and yes i got the four star rank 48 and let's see yep and i got the five thousand five star shards uh we'll take a look um at the scores that i put up but let's go in here uh, you can see I put up 16.7 million. Now, I was actually going to stop earlier, but if you're in my live stream, you'll know that I opened hundreds of those greater solo crystals trying to get a T1 alpha last level up to level up my Wolverine to rank three. And I had a ton, uh, it was about 40 in my overflow of boosts, four star boosts. Uh, that's why I don't open those crystals up very often. So I basically used as much as I could. Um, I think, I'm trying to think, maybe 10, 10 or 15 expired, but I actually got a chance to use the majority of them. All right, so let's go ahead and look through this leaderboard and see uh, if we see any friends. Dark Lord, congratulations. Uh, already seeing names I recognize. Now, this four star uh, will be the only cosmic ghost rider that a lot of us are going to see for quite a while. Uh, I'm not opening up any crystals for him. And depending on what he went for, uh, he would have had to have gone phenomenally low. Okay. Uh, for me to even be tempted. I just finished grinding for Red Goblin and I'm still recuperating. So I'm not trying to grind for another champion. And honestly, uh, I agree. Uh, I lack uh, skills was in my stream the other day. Uh, Big Sexy, congratulations, man. And uh, he was saying that he really doesn't think that these champions are worth grinding that much for anymore. Not these days. And I have to agree. Um, if you have watched me and followed me, you know that I haven't missed a champion that I've gone for. However, I don't go for every champion. Like this champion here, if I know that they're going to go really, really high, I just don't think it's worth it. Um, El Nino, congratulations. But um, more power to everybody that uh, grinded for that five star. Uh, the four star is just fine for me right now and maybe later. But, you know, both me and Ilex skills at our point in the game is a little bit different. You know, we've got a good, robust roster. And honestly, if the champion isn't going to help me progress, then, you know, Dingleberry, I remember you. Congratulations, man. Um, if it's not going to help me progress, then I'm not really all that fired up for it. Big Blue with that huge roster. Congratulations, man. So uh, when I look at these champions now, you know, I look at them as are they going to help me get through some content that I'm not able to do right now or that I just don't want to do right now because my options are less than optimal. So like in the case of this guy right here, Aegon, uh, I still have yet to do a full exploration of Act 6, and I have not touched the Abyss. Now, I could do the Abyss without Aegon, but he would make my life so much easier, so much so that I'm not in any rush to step into the Abyss because I don't like long fights in the Abyss. That's what they do. They have long fights. I watched some people do them, and it did not look fun to me. It looked very, very boring. 
And uh, so I'm not looking to jump in there uh, with a less than optimal team. Now, I didn't have any of the horsemen. Now, um, you may not be familiar with the horsemen, especially now that Apocalypse has entered the contest and he can actually make what's called horsemen. Uh, but we used to call uh, Nick Fury, uh, Human Torch, Aegon, and Doom. We called them the Four Horsemen because they were optimal for completing at least the initial path. I don't know how good they are for all the paths, but for that initial path clear, they would do it cheap, uh, you know, as cheap as you could, you know? So we called them the Four Horsemen. Now, of those four, Aegon is the only one that's really not replaceable. There's not anyone else that can really do what he can do for you. Uh, but the others, you, you can uh, replace them with some other uh, options. So I'm still waiting, trying to get uh, an Aegon five star. Uh, still hasn't happened yet. But I'm good with that because all that means is that I have an excuse to uh, delay my trip into the abyss. Uh, right now, I took a break from opening those uh, mutant and skill uh, dual class crystals uh, because, I mean, I opened up over 30 of them and, and still hadn't gotten him. So I'm over in the um, science and mystic. And hopefully I can get myself a five-star Doom. That's the only five-star that's really going to help me. All right, let's look at the... Um, yeah, let's look at the uh, three-star right quick. Uh, now, this is an arena that I may uh, stop showcasing, uh, mainly because of a change that Kabam made. Uh, everyone that puts up the milestone, the top milestone will get the three star. In fact, they don't even have to do the three star arena, any of the featured arenas. So if you're someone that wanted to get the four star, you'll get the four star and the three star at the same time. You know, um, you saw the score that I put up. I got the milestones for the four star featured and then kept going and got the four star featured. So I actually got uh, the three star three times. I got him once for the three star featured, got him another time for the four star featured and another time for the five star featured. Okay. So this particular arena, it's not quite as, um, exciting. Uh, so this is probably going to be the last time that I go through this one here. Um, all right, but we'll just keep going. So all of the arenas now, uh, the top 200, are all we see, but more than what we see on the leaderboards get the champion. All right, so let's go now to the big boy. This is the one that I am definitely wanting to see some names. Right off the bat, Infinity MJ, number three. Congratulations, I know people went hard for this guy. Aditya. Congratulations. I don't know if I said your name right. So sorry. Aditya. I think that's closer. Um, but congratulations. Maniac. Congratulations. Rank eight. Nice, nice. What did you put up? That's all I want to know. Coat hanger. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. We starting to see some names now. Legacy. Congratulations, man. I am so sorry about those crystal openings. Man, I hurt when I was watching you opening up those crystals and using up over 10,000 units trying to get this guy to avoid this grind. Um, I'll have to check and see what you put up. Uh, but congratulations, you got the champion that you wanted. You had to put in that hard work. That's often what I have to do too. You know, um, so, wow. I'm not even gonna say nothing about that uh, name that I just saw. All right see anybody else that we recognize but uh i was definitely looking for uh legacy's name asmodeus congratulations man and uh 
see if there's anyone else. Uh, now, this arena now um, is top 300. Used to be top 150. Now it's top 300. Ben Riley, congratulations, man. Uh, so we're only going to get a chance to see the top uh, 200. Now, I got something to tell you guys. Uh, for you guys that's been following uh, my uh, my my videos for the uh, arena, Dakish, congratulations, man. Uh, you know the moment of silence, right? Uh, Max, congratulations. Uh, the moment of silence, uh, we would watch, um, we would look at the top 150, and of course, we would see the top 200. So we got a chance to see people who missed the champion but got really close. And I had a little segment called The Moment of Silence, and I would play some music. And in all the videos, you can go back and look at it. Um, it's called Forever, I believe. Um, I always put an attribute because that's what they required. Okay, they said you can use our music, you know, for free, no royalties, but you have to include this in your videos. Fair enough. So you know I've been doing that for a while. Well, just the other day, I got a notice. And I'm going to pop it up on the screen here. But that notice from YouTube that they made a copyright claim, which means not that I had to take the video down. It's not a copyright strike against me. They just will take all the money that I would make from the ad revenue, which is not that much, but it's the principle of the thing. All right, Phantom, congratulations, man. Um, it's just the principle of the thing because what they do is they release and they allow people to use it. It gets popular and then suddenly they start laying claim and you can no longer monetize the video because all the money goes to them. So I went right back to that video that they claimed Remove the song out of it. YouTube has a tool. Um, it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. So I don't have to worry about that. Apex Predator, congratulations. 158. Aren't you glad it's the top one, uh, top 300 now? Um, so anyway, it's a good thing that uh, Rim in the Rock, congratulations. It's a good thing that the top 300 now get the champion. So the moment of silence was gone and I wasn't using that music anyway. Um, but I had thought that I might use it in future videos, you know, not anymore. I will not be using that uh, music at all. Um, but that it's not the first time that that has happened, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, but that's gonna do it guys. Thank you all for watching. If you got the champion and your name is not on these leaderboards, Please, it's more important now than ever that you leave a comment and let us know what you put up so that we have a good idea of what this champ went for. You know, the closer to rank 300 that you are, the better. Um, but that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.